Hello, beautiful people. It's Tony Argetta with Next Stone Star Real Estate here in Mobile, La Gente Preferido. And uh, this is our monthly market update. And really, it's geared to answer one question, the frequently asked question of, hey, Tony, how's the market? Well, based on whether you're a buyer or seller, that can mean two different things. And the goal here is to break that down for you and give you some insight on how to make an uh, informed decision to accomplish your goal, whether it's to buy or sell real estate in Mobile County. So to dive into it without further ado, I'm going to share my screen here and give you access to some information that's available to any realtor or a friend of a realtor, which you now are my friend here to give you some insight into the market. So the first number, first metric I like to look at is the sales price, the average sales price. So the average sales price in Mobile County has been 238,000 in the month of February, okay? Uh, this just gives me a little gauge of where prices are going. And as you can see, there's been a 17% increase um, pretty much since the, the in the last three years um, on home prices, okay? The next thing I like to look at is month supply. Now, month supply is a key indicator of whether you're in a buyer or seller market. In this particular case, you can see in the past three years, uh, we had, at a certain point, we had four months of inventory on, 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 on hand. Um, in February, we dropped to one month of inventory. So what that means is, is if every realtor was out there selling every listing on the market today, we would run out in a month of inventory. Now that is great news for a seller because that means there's buyers out there buying up homes and you have the best opportunity to get the best price for your home. And uh, now that also uh, varies based on, you know, your marketing, you know, a, where you're um, positioning your, your listing, all kinds of things. And that's what we're here to help you accomplish and do. Now for a buyer, this means there's a lot of competition, okay? And that you have to be set up for success um, with one key tip, you know, have, be pre-approved, have a pre-approval letter in hand with a solid lender, right? Have a, a, a hustler, a realtor out there with boots on the ground, looking for homes and not waiting for it to hit the MLS to share with you. The goal here is to give you every competitive advantage. And that's what we do here at Next Home Star Real Estate. So if you're looking to buy or sell, definitely give us a call. Now, the other metric that I'm looking at here is days on market, right? So a lot of people say, well, if I sell my home, you know, what can I expect? How, how fast can I expect it to sell? So I can tell you that, you know, in September of last year, we were looking at 16 days on market on average, okay? In February, we're looking at 39 days on, on, uh, on market. And pretty much from start to finish to close the real estate transaction, you're looking at 35 to 45 days. So if you're concerned about your home selling too quickly, you, you can expect, you know, anywhere from a month to two months, now, as a seller, there's different tactics that we can use to help you so you won't be homeless. We can look into getting your home rented back to you by the buyer. So if you're a seller and you're looking to you know, not be homeless, we can get that home rented back to you uh, by the buyer, or we can look into rentals, all kinds of things. There's always a solution to any problem. And again, that is why you have me to help you solve them. Um, in terms for buyers, you know what to expect uh, and to make yourself more attractive. Those are some options that you could uh, leverage on your offer to make your offer stand out amongst the rest. So those are three indicators that I like to go ahead and uh, look at to help position my clients to be in the best position possible to buy or sell real estate. I hope you found this video informative and if there's anything else that I could do to provide value or help you, please don't hesitate to reach out. I promise I won't bite. I'm here to serve. Give me a call. Have a great day and thank you for watching.